I was gonna get a blanket. We're on already. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, Gina. Hi. Hi, Doc Albert. Hi, Celeste. Hey, Doc. Good evening. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Mika. Hi, Leia. Hi, Phil. What's up, Philbert? I still got a set Hi, schedule Maria. a session with you. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. Kayo ba? Oo kami. Mag-asawa kami. <laughs> Tayo na ba? <laughs> Good evening. I just ordered some broth, so excited to try. Hi, oh, cool. wait, I wanna eat. Hi, Miss. What's her, what's her Gliam? name? Gliam. Gliam. Hi. So, guys, if you have any questions about, about broth fast and bone broth, so we're going to discuss it tonight. And I'm very excited. So, because um, the past, so since our last Instagram live, I've been getting a lot of messages and I haven't finished answering all of them. So, this is perfect. So, we can just answer and throw your the information easily because um, I don't really type fast like unlike my husband so usually I answer using voicemail or what but yeah so tonight I'm going I'm excited to answer all of your questions hi Bianca hi Frian hi Mamski hi Maria. I have a whiteboard I have a whiteboard all about bone broth fasting. Can you guys read it there? It's mirroring. Wait, wait. Oh, nga, parang hindi. Can you read it, guys? I have to write backwards? I can uh, write backwards. Well, sorry, it's medyo skill. maganda yung handwriting po. You can't you can read this one? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm on my fast and I'm hungry. Oh, he's doing his water fast today. Okay. So. I've been training for this all Hi, Julissa. You've been training for this all your life. No, I mean writing backwards. Okay. Because I'm left handed, right? Hi! Hi, Angela. Okay. How do we do this? What happened? What did I do there? Hi. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Trisha. I'm planning to, to start broth fast. Do I start with three days or skip one meal a day? Okay. <laughs> okay. Read the bulba. Yeah. Bone broth there. So, Trisha, um, first and foremost... I would want to know what's your current diet because that will give me an insight on how to prepare you or which fasting type we can put you in. So if this is your first time to do a broth fast, I would recommend that you swap or replace one to two meals per day first. And then as it gets easier, then you progress to 24 hours. Some people, they can just prepare for two to three days, eat clean, and they can already jump. Uh, to a three-day broth fast. So this depends also per person, depending on your activities, your stress levels, and all of that. It was backwards though. Oh, it's backwards? Hi! hi I wrote it backwards for this thing. Hi everyone! Hi Angela! Hi Maria Luisa! Hi Erica! Hello! <laughs> Miss Kim, I'm watching one sip in my college. Okay, I have my broth also here. But Atticus is water fasting, so. I've got my salt water. <laughs> salt water. <laughs> Sad water. Ay, nargidabo na daw. Hi, 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 Ton. Hi, Adlin. Guys, if you have any questions about broth, this is the best time to ask it. How much broth ML do you consume and how many times? Theresa Knight. Okay. So, how much broth do you consume and how many times a day? So, if you're fasting with broth, you can consume 4 to 6 cups. That's 250 ml per cup, 1 to 1.5 liters per day. So, some people, um, especially if you're, this is something new to you, I would recommend that you consume as much broth as you can so you can really push it. Hi, Malen. Hi, Pauline. Thank you. After a three-day broadcast, 
how do we transition to normal eating? Well, that's from Miss Gliam. So um, if your eating habits right now is leaning towards, you know, heavier on carbs, processed food, I would recommend that you start eating clean already because once you do, after you're, you're done with the broth fast, you can notice that your sugar cravings will, you know, it will be minimized or lessened. So it's the perfect time to really switch into clean eating and, you know, just inject one or two days in a week later when you reach your weight and health goals, a diet break. We call it a diet break. So you can do it like one, one, once or two times in a week where you just, you know, don't calorie count, but still be mindful of the food that you eat. So... What you can eat after broth fast, you can have in, incorporate good fat, fermented food, and protein. Nothing that will spike your insulin level. Can I incorporate the elixir to a three-day bone broth? Yes, you can. You may. That's from Eunice Betchai. Mataas po uric acid ko cholesterol and diabetes. Um, pwede naman. Hi, Bet Kai. So, lahat ng broths namin pwede sa'yo. So, ang i-request mo lang is less sea salt or less Himalayan salt. We can also make no salt broth. So, we customize broth as well for people with underlying or health concerns. Hi, it's me, Ryle16. What does the beef broth taste like? Hindi siya... So, yung iba, sinasabi parang, lasa bang tinatanong nila, lasa bang... Bulalo yan. Malayong malayo sa bulalo kasi iba yung ingredients and it's all organic. Um, paano ba? Ano ba lasa ng beef broth natin? Pa- hindi ko ma-explain eh, actually. It tastes like beef bulalo soup. For you? I, I don't think so. For me, it doesn't taste like beef bulalo at all. That's the closest. That's the closest? Yeah. Parang beef soup siguro, but not really bulalo. Kasi yung bulalo sobrang oily naman, diba? Nilaga. Sorry, beef nilaga. nilaga. Sorry, sorry. Beef nilaga. Better nilaga person, maybe. At Tagalog servo, sorry. <laughs> Bear merchandising. Safe po ba ang bone broth kapag may maintenance for high cholesterol? Yes, it is. Hanging Black Guitar. Oh yeah, I remember Hi! your name. Awesome name. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys. How is clean eating? Okay, I'll simplify it. So that's Karen gave for her. So I'll simplify it for you. It doesn't have to be always expensive. You look at the nature, whatever it is that's in season, local fruits, local vegetables, um native chicken. So if you usually look at nature, we kind of intertwine. We are connected. I'd say that because, for example, if two months, be- for example, if what, uh, March would be, kunwari lang to, ah, just an example, flu season. Usually two months or three months before flu season, citrusy, citrusy fruits are in season. The reason behind this is because people need it. So, it ha- so we need to eat whatever it is that's, you know, available uh, present in nature and align with the season um and season sorry um so if you are on a budget the simplify the the food the better focus on local produce and that will make everything cheaper can i try answering sure, that go. so clean eating the simplest way is to determine would our ancestors from 500 years ago or 1,000 years ago, eat what you're eating now. Simple, yeah, nothing so processed. If it, yeah, they don't have chips then. They don't have popcorn. Well, And they don't snack. They, they don't, don't snack. eat four to six times a day. Yeah, so that's clean eating. So that's nothing processed and nothing commercially made. Uh, like any, So organic as much as possible. So you avoid chickens that are raised in six weeks that are full of hormones and that can mess up your your endocrine system. Okay, thanks for that. I usually do OMAD. Can I consume the whole broth in one session? 
Um, if you're doing OMAD, yes. I, no, it can be. You can, yeah. but not one liter. Because ba ma so sobrahan ka naman kung may food kang solid and then meron kang um liquid. I, I, I drink two to three cups in one session. Yeah, so. siya kaya niya ubusin yun. Yeah. Celesa Alonso. Hi, Miss Kim. You're so beautiful. How do you start eating clean? I always end up wanting dessert after meals. Okay, I love this. I love this question. So usually, when we crave for something, for example, salty or sweet, it means that there is a certain nutrients that you lack in your body. So that's how smart the body is. It will make you crave for something, and it can get confusing because, for example, um, you know, processed food are all over. So parang the cortisol level will just, you know, make you grab whatever it is that is convenient and mura. So, to answer that, if you're craving for something sweet, then you can actually check this online as well. Or if you're craving, like, for dessert, it means you lack certain minerals. It can be magnesium or zinc. Yeah, so, and then you'll find the alternative. What nutrient-dense food is equivalent to this? So, if I'm craving, for example, for protein, it means meat, right? So, if you're craving for salty, then it means you lack certain minerals. Yes. Martin De Luna. It, it, it's beefy but fuller than bulela. Oh. Oh, no, it's trying to help <laughs> define <laughs> Thank how it you. tastes. <laughs> yes. What is, what's the difference between the original Jello, okay, and Bomber and Bedtime? Okay. So, the Bedtime, so the classic Jello has no goji berries. Goji berries is actually known to induce and help sleep. It helps promote melatonin production. It calms you down. So it's a tradi- uh, TCM. It's like a TCM. It's a traditional traditional Chinese medicinal herbs or fruits that you can include in your broth. So that's the bedtime broth. Mas masarap sa bulaga. Masarap the beef broth. Actually, all your broth are not and not oily. Thank you, Julisa. Can you, can you please recommend a doctor who can supervise when I do a, uh, an extended fast? Hi, Miss Langa. Um, you can check Dr. Fang, Dr. Alan Goldhammer, but all of these doctors are actually based abroad. You can also check Dr. Lodi, Thomas Lodi. So, Miss Langa, I think you're pertaining to water fasting, right? Because that's when you would need a doctor. So, yeah. I, I went to Phuket to uh, Dr. Lodi, that's his name, Lodi, so it's hard to forget if you're Pinoy. Uh, he's an American based in Phuket who has a, he, he has a resort, he works with a brand called Lifeco. I think they've moved locations since then though, so I know there's somewhere in Phuket, but excellent doctor. Doesn't taste unhealthy, it makes sense. Kim Lee, yes, Malaya, beef broth tastes subtle, very subtle. Ooh. Wonder, wonder girl, what if I don't intend to fast? How is the process? Um, what do you mean, wonder girl, wonder, wonder girl? I, I think, I think you're talking about substituting a meal. So, um, Hart, who started working with Kim about a year ago, could not fast, water fast or broth fast. So she she started by substituting one meal only, if she ate four times a day or three three meals a day she would substitute the last meal right was that what you did no she started with replacing her breakfast with a cup oh, of broth breakfast. and evening cup of broth immediately yeah. so two meals in a she day? actually did a two day or the three days full cleanse first and then well she she couldn't push it in the beginning but yeah she, now she's already doing water fast so as it, it gets easier as you do it free, more frequently or frequently it becomes easier then you progress but yeah, you can replace maybe your dinner so lighter yung meal mo at night. That would be the best. You want your dinner to be the lightest meal of the of the day for the entire day because that gives your body time to digest and just focus on healing and regenerating when you sleep. Because when you eat, so aham haba ng sinabi ko na, but sorry, mm-hmm. so explain ko na rin. So the reason uh, why you wanna want a lighter meal at night is for the body to give that ability to really regenerate when you sleep because it takes a lot of energy to digest the food so imagine if you eat and then you sleep right away you already took that opportunity 
for the body to heal and just focus on healing because nga 70 percent ng immune system mo nasa chan and then it's just digesting and digesting the following morning gutom ka even if you eat a lot at night because nga sanay na na gumagana yung yung chan mo digesting so yeah lighter meal at night would be the best what if i don't okay miss langa what if i have gallstones if you have this condition um, I would recommend that you consult um, the water fasting experts like in uh, Dr. Lodi, uh, Dr. Fong, or you follow them. And you, some of them actually reply. It's like I message them here and there and they, they're very generous with information. So you can consult them as well. RG. How much bone broth can I consume if I want to use it for gut healing? The best would be a gut reset. I am Lay Lay Lay. So Leia Lay. Um best that the best would be a three day broth fast especially for women it's but clean eating oh, but sorry. sorry but but if you haven't you know tried any type of fasting baka mabigla ka sa three days so what you can do is a 24 hour broth fast so the technique is your for example if you're planning to fast for 24 hours your last meal dapat today would be at 4 p.m and then you break it the following day 4 p.m it makes it easier way way easier compared to eating late at night and then the following day nagpa fast ka parang iniisip mo ang tagal naman maging 8 p.m parang gutom ka na diba but if it's 4 p.m doable siya i am m does clean eating always mean organic so depends what you mean by clean if it's clean to lose weight no need if it's clean for health reasons, yes. So there's clean to lose weight as you just cut your sugar. Anything that will spike your sugar. Uh, Refined carbohydrates. Yeah. Mm. The obvious stuff. <laughs> the bread, the rice, and all of that. But if it's for health, yes, you want ideally organic. Hi, Rika. I have acidity. Is it possible to still do Ahmad? What about fasting? Hi, Rika. Yes, even if you have acidity, actually, it's the best way to reset your gut health issues. And um, to break the record, I always get this question. Can I fast? Kasi nagsumasakit yung chan ko or nag-hyperacidity ako. The, our stomach is naturally acidic. If it's not acidic, we will not be able to digest the food that we eat. We will not be able to get all the nutrients that is present to the food that we eat. So you want your stomach to be acidic. Now, if you're reacting and you're feeling some an, an, or feeling pain in your stomach when you skip meals, it means that your diet is really bad. So it's a perfect time to just, you know, reset and let it heal on its own because the body, the gut has the ability to, to heal its own by just doing a 24 hour fast. It can be improved already. That's what's good about our microbiota. 24 hours clean eating, it will change. You will strengthen your good bacteria oh, by doing Deluna. that. How can Martin De Luna? It's an ozonating process. Yeah, you can ozonate. There's Sorry, the question is, how can you be sure that the local food is truly free of pesticides? Well, for me, um, what I do, like for my suppliers, I make sure I check their their business, check if they're legit, and they do the, the correct process, and if they're all organic. But, in order to be sure, like in my case, I'm so OC, I would still ozonate my vegetables, my produce, even the organic ones. And if you don't have ozonator, I would recommend that you use apple cider, wash your fruits or vegetables or produce with apple cider and baking soda. So that will help eliminate the, you know, residue or pesticides. Dance la vie. Would, would be great if you guys can do what I eat in a day. Yes, I would want to do that. I was actually doing that before already. I don't know why I stopped. I just got so busy. Hey, guys. I'm super acidic. I'm always, always, I always feel hungry. How can I start fasting? Okay. <laughs> uh -uh. So, usually, when you're used to eating several times, that's when it's harder to fast. So, I would recommend you start slowly you replace one meal first or maybe do a, a short intermittent fast. Um, so since you're a woman or you're a lady, um, it, I would advise that you start doing 16 to 18 hours first or maybe cut your uh, eating window shorter. So 
if your last meal is at 4 p.m. in the afternoon or 6 p.m. at night, then you eat the following day brunch na. You start from that. So skip a meal first. Yeah, skip a meal. Yeah. Start with skipping meals. So have a heavy meal, let's say lunch, mm -hmm. and then skip dinner. Or have a heavy dinner and then eat lunch next day. I am John Gracie. Yeah, I love the cup. Hi, lovely couple, Kim and Addy, because the beef broth tastes so uh, good. Hi, it tastes clean and healthy. Imagine bolalu soup that is really bland. No spice, but you can taste the beef. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for describing, yeah. Wonder, Wonder Girl. For someone who has Hashimoto thyroid, Hashimoto's yeah, thyroid, yeah. would you recommend bone broth? I, this is actually part of the book that I'm reading, the book of Dr. Fang. I'll share the title of the book later on my um, Instagram. Um... He was saying that the, the Hashimoto fire um, issue, or it's an autoimmune disease, right? So it can be corrected by water fasting, by just doing a water fast. But it has to be done correctly. So basically, you have to prepare your pre-water fasting food. Eat clean, good fat like macadamia, avocado, coconut oil, and cooked olive oil drizzle on your food. A uh, whole food lang, and then you jump into fasting. This can be corrected. And then, if you have this um, autoimmune disease, I recommend that do not take um, artificial sweetener. Even the monk fruit is actually not allowed to be for people with underlying health condition like autoimmune diseases. So, I tell this a lot. I, I share this with my clients. Mm. Kimili. Yeah, it's like okay. TCM. Yeah. Yep. Marie do you Lipan. do COD, COD in Mindanao? Hi, Mariel, Mariel Lipan. Not yet, but soon. And I'm excited to expand and help more people. We are really looking forward to, you know, uh, providing the best broth in the Philippines. We're excited for that. And we will give you a heads up. And kindly send your details also. So once we can ship in your area, we will, you know, message you right away. We love you too, Kimili. You're I'm so back sweet. To you. Thanks for the support. I am M. When do I do bone bro bone broth fast? Can I still take supplements or medication? Well, you have to send me the list of the medication that you're taking so I can check it. Food supplements should be okay, um, except the fat soluble ones. How to start fasting? I have an irregular sleep pattern because I always go on duty. On call on hospital, so I need to check her schedule. Yeah, because like I am Sherry Sherry Ann Sherry Ann. I am Sherry Ann. Irregular sleeping pattern. You know when you're, when you're always puyat, it you really it's it's hard to eat clean. That's you true. You really will crave carbs. That's true. Yeah, so, I always tell that to ads. Parang if I'm puyat, which hindi naman lagi nangyayari, because I'm so particular and OC with my sleep. So, um, I noticed iba, iba yung energy mo. But the reason why is because your external body clock and your internal body clock is actually aligned. So, if you're always puyat, you actually alter the, the circadian rhythm of your microbiota. So, um, that is why I always also tell people that sleep is very crucial, it's very important. No amount of eating healthy or clean eating can make you feel optimal if you don't get enough sleep. So sleep is so the priority. So sleep is the priority. Sabi ko nga, may, meron pa nga akong nakausap before na into fasting then Walang namamatay sa so walang pagkain. Kung wala kang pagkain, kaya mo mag-survive. Pero mas maraming nasisiraan ng ulo pag walang tulog. And I'm sure you experienced that. Lalo yung wala kang tulog, parang init ng ulo mo. Um, so yeah, sleep. Prioritize sleep. It will be, be easier for you to fast if you get enough sleep. Is broth soup also suggested? Yes. Hi, Victoria. So, yes. Um, I incorporate, personally do this. After, so, I plan my pre-pregnancy meals, my during me pregnancy meals, and my post-pregnancy meals. Because as a mom, after giving birth, you don't get, you know, to sleep properly. Putul putul yung tulog mo. Your I was breastfeeding, and I'm sure you will breastfeed also. So, pag ganon, kailangan prepared ka kung anong kakainim mo, or else ang tendency mo because your cortisol level and stress level is high. 
you will easily grab whatever unnecessary or unhealthy food that's available. So you clean your pantry, make sure you don't ha have any unnecessary chips or sugary food. And just, you know, drink broth. You can br do broth, uh, take broth, and with co incorporate it with clean food. Can I just highlight what you said there? Mm. So guys, that's a very powerful tip. Make it difficult for yourselves to cheat. So clean your pantry out, um, throw out all the junk food, make it the hassle that if you want chips, you have to go out and, and, and go to the uh, store out of down sight, the road. Out of sight, out of mind. So make it difficult to cheat. So, and then also, having said that, schedule a diet break. So tell yourself, okay, if I, if I hit my goal, if I lose, let's say, 5 pounds or 10 pounds, I will reward myself with a two, three days of eating my favorite food. But after that, back on track. Yeah. So mentally, you're always energized. Yeah, and you don't get burned out. And it's also okay to enjoy once in a while, yeah? So from Trisha, Trisha M. Cruz, M. Cruz what should you eat after fasting? Um, Hi, Trisha. So... My recommendation, nothing that will spike your insulin, good fat, fermented food, no sugar, and protein. So protein is actually a thermogenic food, meaning you can burn 25% total of the cat from like if, if the calorie of the protein is 100, then you 25%, 25% never burn alone by just consuming it or by just digesting it. So, and it will not spike your insulin. So that's the best part. You don't want that, especially if you just came out from the fast, because that will take toll to your internal health. You're most welcome, Miss Langa. Of course, that's what we're doing the live for. Martin Dillon, Tweety Bombard fast and Smoothie fast was great. Yay! I'm happy you enjoyed it. Is it is it X X Y? Is it okay to work season? out while you are on your water three day water fast? Example? No, I would not recommend that you work out because. Some people, when they, so usually you'll feel energized. Now, first, second day, medyo mahirap, and then parang it gets easier, for me at least. But if you push it and feeling mo kaya mo mag-workout and you do an explosive workout, I bet you'll end up breaking the fast. So, so don't even she, try. She's referring to me. <laughs> like, I'll often um, do a water fast, and on the first day, I'll do a hard workout, like a hit style workout. And the next day I pay for it. I, I am in, I'm so sore. I'm so hungry. And yes, I end up breaking it. So instead of going three days, I, I cut at uh, 36 hours. Uh, so if you do want to work out and you want to expedite your weight loss on a water fast, the best thing to do is just walk. Yeah, just get your steps. So 5,000. Walking is okay. called LISS, low intensity, steady state. So that just walk around the house, move, just keep moving. Get try your to steps. get, we, we both have Fitbits. We try to get, at least 10,000 steps a day. Uh, so I'm that's ready. great with I'm a water fine. fast. And you will probably lose at least six pounds in, in three days, at least. Yeah. Yep. Wait, I'll go on my Facebook. So does bone broth fast help regulate periods? So there's also a misconception about this that it can alter your hormones, especially for women. Because our anatomy, women's body is different from men. Actually, fasting is very much beneficial for men. Parang walang, walang rules, no? But for women, um, I would want to say that it has to be planned. Meaning, 36 hours and then you do OMAD and then 36 hours back to back. Fasting mimicking is different. So, if it's pure water fast, you would want to time it, align it with your cycle. Meaning your period. So, yeah. yeah. So, Okay, let me explain this because I really want to exp I've been wanting to share this. <laughs> so, so after your period, the first to second week, your estrogen hormone is high. Your estrogen hormone is your appetite suppressant hormone. That's when you do the fast because you can push it longer. This is applicable for women, what well, period of men. <laughs> so, and then Three, third to fourth week before you get your period, that's when your testosterone level and progesterone level is much dominant, are dominant hormones. Those hormones, progesterone and testosterone, those two are your appetite stimulant hormones, meaning mas mahirap hindi kumain, mas gutom tayo. So that's one thing that you can do when you fast, you time it. Hi! Hi, Beb! Okay, we have a question here from New Zealand. Foxy. 
how often do you recommend doing a three-day gut cleanse reset or gut cleanse? Um, that's from Faxi Ika. I, Ika. Ika. Faxi Ika. Well, it depends. I need to know what your goal is. Please send me a message so I can like give you tips. Because, for example, um, if you're if you want to lose twenty pounds in a month, or you're rushing, or you just have some event that you want to attend, you want to fit well, so the mitmo, the ba, we can do it. We can create a plan. And there's no one size fits all when it comes to fasting. You have to listen to your body. What's doable for you? What is mo- more sustainable for you? Right. So you want to create a plan that you can sustain because I'd say amongst all the diets that came out, kung ano anong diet yan, I'd say fasting and intermittent fasting would be the best. You just need to know how to time it. And it's a natural stem cell, you know, it's for regeneration. It will regenerate your body. Do you still do you still do skincare even if you can um not so much. I try to make my own skincare. I've been actually doing my R and D since two thousand eleven. Yeah. But I haven't launched it. Um, I'm still trying them, so I want to make sure that is well. Basically, it has no any ingredient that can alter women's hormone. Because uh, what I notice, even the luxury skincare, if you really read the details and ingredients and you search, like what it is or what this certain ingredients are, it can actually mimic your hormones. Some even not the food. This skincare can make you actually fat. So you really have to be careful on what you put inside your body and what you put on top of your skin. Because the body, the skin can actually, pen- the, the medicine or the skincare can penetrate your body. Hi, Jenica. You're welcome. I just did it. It's so effort. Yeah, the right? Sobrang dali if it's 4 p.m. and then the following day, 4 p.m. Do I need to fast for 24 hours before salt flushing? Um, for the salt flushing, you don't really need it if um you go regularly, naman. Like if you get to, uh, if your bowel movement is regular, it shouldn't be a problem. If you're constipated, you can do it once a week, and it has to be Himalayan salt, not table salt. I hope you can ship nationwide. Yes, Ruby, I am really excited to do that. Hello, hey, Hannah. hi, Hannah. I am Sherry Ann. How to start fasting? I have an erect sleep pattern. I think no? Yeah, that's weird. It's not sinking. Yeah, why? Well, yeah. I guess because we're still reading it slowly. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. maybe. Sorry, it's we're so slow. Up. What should you eat after fasting? Nothing sweet. Nothing sweet. No sugar, no processed food, good yeah. fat, macadamia, avocado. So if you eat something sweet, your hunger will come back with a vengeance. Yep. So. I would recommend, yeah, actually, if, if you can eat meat, eat meat. Yeah, organic meat or, I know, native chicken, native na manok. Or steak, so you're you're satiated. Yeah. Right? You're full of gut. Yep. Hi, King M8. Hi, Kim. Lovely couple. We tried the three-day Hello. fast mimicking program. How was it, King? I hope you enjoyed it. Me, we, me. It's okay. Is it oh, so? Is it okay to move to keto diet after three days fast? Yes. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Ideal. Okay, I want to share this also. Um, this is about broad fasting, but I want to share like I noticed that people don't really understand what keto diet is. Akala nila is just any type of fat. There's science in it, and you have to make sure that you're eating the right fat and not any type of fat because if it's not done correctly, it can take toll to your health. So good fat meaning avocado, organic, full fat milk, um, grass-fed fat, grass-fed milk, grass-fed beef. It's not like just all pork fat. Hindi siya ganon. No, it has to be organic. That would be the best option if you want to do a keto diet. And beneficial siya if you have any underlying health condition like diabetes. It is promising and it can reverse PCOS because I had PCOS before so I know that it can really work. So for example, if you're a woman, a lady that's missing your period, the best diet would be healthy keto. So that will make everything balance. It will balance and help your hormones. Yes, sleep is very important. I slept well even without taking melatonin during the broadcast. I have hypertension. 
yes, it is okay to take the broth. All our broths are made from 100% all organic ingredients, so you have nothing to worry about. And there's also misconception about cholesterol, that fat is bad. Fat is good. Our brain alone needs fat. Our cells, the composition of our cells may fat. So it's very important that you eat food, food with fat. For water fasting, Thea Baiz, for water fasting, should it be warm? It doesn't matter if it's cold or warm. It's um, It can vary from one person to another. Some people, they want warm water. When Atticus was doing his 21-day water fast, alternate na lang yung option niya. Hot water, cold water, hot water, cold water, with sea salt, without sea salt. So it, it, it will be up to you. Hi, Maria. Yes, out of sight, out of mind. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. I'm so excited for you. Please keep me posted if there's anything that I can help you with. I'd be happy to assist you and to make sure that you'll get back in shape in less than two weeks. I guarantee. Because me, um, ang, ang goal ko every after giving birth, less than a week, dapat I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight already. So it can be done. You just have to be mindful of the, eat, the food that you eat. Sorry. You should post your picture. Yeah, well... <laughs> she did it in seven days, I think. No, less than. Less yeah, than. less than. Thank you so much for replying, am I've tried your broths and I really do love it. It's something I want to incorporate in my meals even if I'm not fasting. That would be wonderful. Did you know that 30% of our body is actually made of col protein? And pro protein, collagen protein, I actually have notes about that. So 30% of the protein in our body is made of collagen protein. So it's really beneficial to incorporate broth. I also share the recipe. So if you want the recipe, please just send me a DM and then I'll send it to you. Hi, Jane. Oh, I'm Jane. Hello. Hi, Lani. Yes, it's you can really tweak that under that, that um, health condition. You can tweak, you can fix PCOS by just doing a low carb diet. I guarantee. You can also check Dr. Fung. Um, and I and you can also send me a message so I can send you the link that you can watch. Para ma intindihan mo yung concept niya. Hi Jane. Mitch. Hi Kim and husband. How to start fasting apart from irregular sleeping pattern due to hospital duty plus I'm on meds due to COVID complications. So, Mitch, first and foremost, I would recommend, especially that you had you know, COVID and you're trying to recover, make sure that you don't eat anything that will cause inflammation. Anything processed will cause inflammation. Anything with sugar, fast food, milk tea, frab from Starbucks, McDonald's, Jollibee's, name it all, all the processed food that it will, it will make the body suffer later on, even if you don't feel it right now. But yeah, so start from there and then get back. To me, message me, and once you're ready, I can uh, give you tips on how to do it. Fix your diet first. That would be the best uh, first step to do. Most important step to do. Can I add to that? Mitch, yeah. you can also just start with uh, IF. Intermittent yeah, intermittent fasting. fasting. So drop a meal. So try try first, okay, I'll skip breakfast or I'll skip dinner. Dinner. Uh, and so it's one of the bookend meals. And then after that, if you can skip breakfast and lunch... And then maybe, or lunch and dinner. The next thing you know, you're only having one meal a day. And then if you can handle that already, then you can try uh, going for 36 hours. So skip eating one whole day and then eat the next day. Okay, from Cha Alvarez. Alvarez, hi, I did the three-day bone broth, bone fasting. I noticed I had a hard time focusing at work. Will this improve over time? I want to make this part of my lifestyle. Yes, so I would want to know, Cha, how many days did you prepare before you entered the three-day bone broth fast and how did you break it? So that's really important. That's why we give the F F FAQs. So um, we give guidelines on what food to eat prior and how to break it. And those FAQs are very important. It has to be followed, all the guidelines. So yeah. speaking from experience, if I... Let's say I cheated or I'm on a, I was on a diet break and I wanted to get back to my target weight. If I indulged and had a lot of junk food, uh, I will have a hard time during my fast. So it, it's like you're paying for it. 
but if I ate clean, which is what Kim was talking about, if you prepare for it and, and I didn't have a lot of sugary food, um, then it's much easier. And how do you know if you've had a lot of junk food? In, in my case, and Kim and I, every time we, we eat junk, like we love ramen, we'll taste our mouths the next day. We'll have that uh, dragon's breath. Yeah, you know, bad that breath. Foul, yeah, which bad we don't breath. Have, we, don't... we don't get that now when we eat clean. So that's that's one of their little perks, yeah. you know. So if you've got a, a, a new partner that you want to impress, eat clean. <laughs> Eat clean, and when you wake up in the morning, I'm born a hininga, no? Parang yeah. baby's breath. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, no joke. Yeah, you can try it. Hi, Janice. Hi, Janice. Nakaka relax ang bro. Happy fasting. to hear it. It's I'm happy that it helped you. Is it okay to do water fast if you have GERD? Yes, definitely. You can correct that through water fasting. It, As I mentioned earlier, it only takes 24 hours to regenerate the gut lining. Pinakamabilis water fast. No, so pag kaya mo na mag water fast, that would be the number one option. Dry fast, water fast, broth fast. So pag, inter- pag beginners ka, or beginner ka pa lang, then you can do the fasting mimicking. But kapag feeling mo kaya mo na, then you can do a longer broth fast and then jump into water fast. That would be the best. Celesa alone, so when you're doing meal replacement of the broth or fasting, do you still need to count or hit? Your calories, calories deficit. Deficit. Well, this depends. Now, if you have a certain weight goal and you're rushing, I would recommend the calorie deficit, meaning you really calorie count. But the goal is to have a diet that you don't need to calorie count. When will that happen? That will happen if you eat food that will satisfy. Satisfy. Sorry, Bisaya. Nasa satisfy. Satisfy your body. So, what are those? Good fat, protein. Those are satiating food. So. Your two hormones that will tell you to eat and not to eat, the ghrelin and le- leptin. Leptin is your satiating. Ito yung nagsasabi sa'yo na busog ka na. Hindi mo na kayang kumain kasi parang nasusuka ka na sa busog kahit konti lang yung kinain mo. I'll give you an example. Ang lechon, hindi mo kayang ubusin yung isang buo. ba? Or hindi mo kayang umubos ng isang, isang kilong lechon alone. Pero pag kinumbayan mo yung rice, magugulat ka mas marami kang makakain. Because it alters your hormone. So, if it's just pure fat, basically, satisfied yung katawan mo and protein, fat and protein. Pag hinaluan mo ng carbs yan and junk food or refined, yeah, refined, anything with refined sugar, mas nagigit, na-activate yung hunger hormones mo, which is your gradient, and you don't want that. And the less, or parang, the less, less frequency, is that correct? The mas, less frequent. The, the less frequent you eat, then mas hindi ka rin lagi nagugutom. Kasi nasasana yung chan mo na pagkain ka na kain, parang gutom ka maya-maya, ba? And you don't want that. Hindi totoo yung you have to eat four to six times a day. You don't have to. It's um, a westernized concept. Yep. Break, 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 breakfast means breaking the fast. It doesn't mean morning food. Sorry, I, I will... Can I, sorry, can sure, I just sure. chime in? I think eating more frequently works if you're trying to gain weight. Yeah. So if if your goal is to gain weight, and there are people who need to gain weight, they are struggling with uh, being below their target weight. So yes, uh, that's that's ideal. Otherwise, if you're trying to lose weight, less frequent, better. So you don't spike your insulin. When you spike your insulin, you end up storing energy as fat. Yep, that's correct. Hi, Glenn Atienza. Hi, guys. Hi, Isa. Peep up. Hello. Hi. Trisha. Thank you so much. Can't wait to try your try broth fast. I will do the replace do the replace one meal for broth. Yeah, sure. I'm excited Hi, for you. Hi, Mitch. Hi, lovely couple. How to start bone broth and water fast or other type of fast if I have an irregular sleep pattern? Wait, that's Parang the same question. Oh, sorry, what's <laughs> happening? Hi, Greg Marquina. Wait, there's you missed a question. How many hours from Kimmy Lee? How many hours of IF do you guys usually do on a normal basis? So Kim and I, we, we like to describe our approach as a fasting-focused fasting lifestyle. So It's part of our day. Yeah, it, it, it's really like we use several tools to manage our weight. We have water fasting. We have broth fasting. We have uh, a, cl- a diet where there's no sugar. or and then, But that doesn't mean that it's not delicious. So we have a lot of sugar alternatives. Uh, which Kim makes so like we've got all these sneaky bars which are like 
all the treats that you would normally crave that uh, we want to have, but we can't eat because our sugar will spike. We don't want to spike our sugar, so we have the alternative to that. Um, so how many hours do we usually fast? What we do is we time it based on how much, how we've, how our diet has been, how our behavior has been. So let's say it's someone's birthday or we're celebrating something and or, or we got a gift from someone and we want to try food that we don't normally eat, then we'll try it and then we'll, we'll compensate for that. Like Kim will say, oh, I think I ate too much of the, the cookies that so-and-so sent. So I'll, I think I'll, I'll skip dinner. I'll skip, I'll skip um, breakfast and lunch and I'll just have, I'll do OMAD. So one meal, yeah, a, day. One meal a day. Or if she ate seven. more than that, she'll say, you know what? I, I won't eat for two days. Yeah. So it's really, it, we don't have a fixed rhythm anymore. Mm-hmm. But fasting is really part of our lifestyle. But I'd say for me, on a normal day, especially if I'm busy, so you're 16 to 18 hours, sometimes 20 hours, and then I have four hours eating window. Hi, Christine. Hi. I tried doing the bone broth fast, but the first night I could not sleep and I feel weak and dizzy, but I want to do it again. I'm overweight, hypertension, and PCOS. Hi, Christine. So I would recommend to try the not the bone broth fast first. Do a bone broth fa- a broth lifestyle meal plan. So basically, that's good fat and organic protein or protein and broth. So we start from that. And then let's fix, before the weight concern, I always say this also, more than anything else, more than just looking good, your internal health is very important. The rest will follow. If you eat clean, if you fast, it's unlikely that you'll not lose weight. Seriously, like very impossible not to lose weight. What's important is not just the calories, but you have to know what's happening inside your system. Because uh, you can eat very little, but you'll notice some people ang konti kumain, but they don't lose weight. Why? Because maybe they have they have some hormonal issues, hormonal imbalance issues, and all all of that sort of thing. No, um. So, yeah, more than just losing weight, it's really more of the internal health. If you give and nourish your food, a uh, nourish sorry, nourish your system with good food, nutrient dense food, it will reflect. You will look good. Your hair, your skin everything how you look your physique will improve it will really modify how you look in general your energy your energy so yeah start from that maria conmi hi kim what are your thoughts about slimming coffee and choco um <laughs> this is i know a quick fix i'd say and it's not something that is sustainable um and i noticed most of the slimming coffee so ito pa because I'm so OC with the ingredients. Now, I've been receiving mga ganyang uh, free slimming stuff pinapadala sa akin. And I don't take them. I read the labels. I always see non-dairy creamer. And then I told ads, you know what? This non-dairy creamer is actually soy. And it's really bad for you. You know, most of the soy is are geneti- genetically modified. It's genetically modified. It, and can, it can alter your hormone, especially for women. No, you can have mood swings, depression, you can gain weight later on. So it can do more harm than good. That, that's how I'll put it. You really have to be keen with the ingredients. Make sure, check the ingredients. If there's anything that you cannot understand in layman's term, then you have to do your research. So you'll understand. Because minsan, iba yung names ingredients. Pag search mo, sugar pala siya. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Greg. Hi, Martina. Greg. Mart- Martin, Martin De Luna. Super agree with the menstrual cycle sinking. Yep, that's very important. You have to know when to do the fast, especially for women. Okay, chic. Know about fasting? By taking this hand, hands to ask, Chance what to if ask, I go yeah. out? What if of- I go tomorrow? Of course, I don't want to buy all the food and put processed foods in unhealthy outside. Okay, huh? then, okay, chick. Then that's an opportunity for you to fast. Or what I do usually when I meet up with friends, I'll just order tea or coffee plain just to be safe. Or I'll choose, this is another tip that I do. Sorry, friends. Now they, well, they know about this. I always choose the restaurant so I know that I have an option <laughs> what to get. Or if you want to eat like a bowl of salad outside, always ask na ilagay nila on the side yung dressing. So like for me, if I order salad and I have no other option, 
I would like to order, for example, Caesar salad, just an example, dressing on the side. If you want to put some dressing, just add, ask for balsamic vinegar, olive oil, Himalayan salt. That's it. Because most of the time, yung dressing, puno ng sugar yan. So, parang, hindi ka rin kumain ng healthy kung yung dressing mo eh, nasa 600 calories, diba? It doesn't really make sense. So, Can I go. chime in? So, ukay, chick, I, I like to eat uh, sashimi. So, if I if I have a social where I don't want to break my diet, there. Mm-hmm. I'll ask if we can go do Japanese and then I'll have sashimi. And like Kim said, I won't even have the soy sauce. What we do is we get the wasabi and lemon slice. We ask for extra lemon slices and then we, we squeeze the lemon slice and mix it with the wasabi and I'll just have sashimi tuna. Mm-hmm. That's it. And it tastes good. Maria, hi da. Oh my God, may nan there. Yes, yeah, so that's why very particular ako dyan kasi I'm doing my R&D rin also. I'm trying to make healthy fried drinks and all of that. So I'm very particular with the ingredients. Yeah, so it has to be really checked. Hi, Miss Kim from Glen Atienza. Hi, Miss Kim. What diet can you recommend for diabetic women who women is brought good for them? Yes, it's good for people with diabetes. It's totally fine. But the best would be 24-hour water fast, maybe twice a week. Please send me a message so I can help you and I can guide you how to do it. Okay. Hi, Martin. I'm looking forward to it. Actually, sobrang ganda nung scrub namin. Parang anti-puffiness. Kakatanggal ng mana. So, I'm excited also. What's the best way to maintain healthy eating? Um, What do you mean? Like... Diet breaks. Yeah. Well, there you go. Diet breaks. So... Healthy eating. Kasi, there's also a study that you can check. I think, uh, sa Stanford or Harvard. Harvard, sorry. Bisaya, sorry, guys. <laughs> so, two groups um, nilagay sa different diet. Yung isa, group, all of them, calorie counting. The other group, naging intermittent fasting with no calorie counting, intermittent fasting. Tapos, meron silang parang once a week diet break. And, yung group B na may diet break, mas na-sustain nila at mas na-maintain nila yung weight loss. So, to avoid yung binging, yung para kang na-deprive na isang taong kang hindi kumain ng cake, wag ganun. So, try to be, you know, easy also sa sarili mo. When there is an event, then you can indulge a little. Just be mindful. Ang laging tip na binibigay ko, if it's your diet break, don't mix carbs and sugar. If you want to do carbs, carb alone. If you want to do meat, meat alone. Because that's that's when the body gets confused at dun tinatamaan yung system 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 natin. Um and yeah, so for example, gusto mo mag-diet break this Sunday, gusto mo mag-steak, mag-steak ka. Kung ilang kung wa, half kilo na steak ka, ay maubos na or 1 kilo, go ahead. But don't mix it with cake. Ngayon, kung magki ka, mag-cake ka lang. Oh, in addition, okay, chick. I, we always talk about, I always tease Kim. Um, I'm not, I always tell her, if there's junk food in the house, I'm going to find it and I'll eat it. So, like, we both love chocolate, just like anybody else. And when we have chocolate... I love dark chocolate, correction. Yeah, well, uh, same, same. But uh, ideally, even dark chocolate, you have to limit if you're yeah. trying to lose weight. So we usually have dark chocolate in the house, like 70%, 80%. 90. Yeah, up to even... It's high in fat. 90, yeah. So, anyway... She'll hide it, and somehow I'll find it when I'm hungry. So that's another tip to maintaining healthy eating. If you really want to cut, uh, cut your sugar, is clean your environment. Um, Put like, your chocolates inside your safe. So like like Kim and I joke, you 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 raid your pantry, your kitchen, or you. I want to do that, guys. You sexify Help me! It. I want to sexify your pantry. Yeah. Skinified your Skinified. pantry. Yeah. We gotta find a term for that. Yeah. Let if you have any like. Uh, cause we're trying to come up with a name, you know, like raid, but kitchen raid by Kim King, something like that, just to help people. And I'll make sure that I bring all the junk, the junk food out of your house, <laughs> so to help people get into, you know, mindful eating. Okay, what time do you usually sleep? Nine o'clock. Nutri Philippines. Nutri Philippines. I sleep past twelve. Yeah, she. Wala talaga. Lagi naming pinaga away niya. Much later than her. I wake up five. With, yeah, yeah, five. So, thank you, Shaw Thank Shall-y-ville. you for reaching to us. Appreciate, bro. 
I'm okay. happy to be here. Hi, I'm... Beskitarian. Hip Yogi. Uh, hi, I'm Beskitarian. Will you be making morgan broth anytime soon? That's actually, cool. Actually, we tried. Kaya lang, ang hirap kasi humanap ng um, masarap and creamy. Gusto ko kasi creamy siya. When I tried it before, I, I remember I tried it and pinatry ko sa'yo, hindi mo nagustuhan. So, kailangan kong gumawa ng bagong, I, I need to do an R&D for that. I've never so, had fish broth. Yeah, actually. masarap siya actually. We tried something similar when we were in Japan, remember? No, oh, that's yeah. Diba sabi mo medyo malansa. So, yeah, I need to really do a uh, intense R&D for that. But yeah, I would want to really make a marine broth. That would be nice. You're welcome, Miwi Mi. Bianca 8. Is monk fruit considered sugar when you mention No. Um so, monk fruit is a zero-calorie sugar, sugar alternative better than aspartame. It has no, no negative side effect and all of that, and it will not spike your insulin. Yeah, but, you know, ideally, you would want to even... Because the addictive, I think, uh, this is just my opinion, um, the more you're used to the sweet taste, the more you look for it. So, I would recommend that even if it's not, if it, even if it's a zero-calorie sugar, you would want to kind of tame that sweet taste bud, you know? Para masanay ka na hindi lagi matamis yung food mo. And later on, mas ma-appreciate mo yung matamis kasi minsan mo na lang kainan. Miss Ai, thanks for to your FMD, FMD. I feel so good now after four days. I was doing it for good health but lost weight as a bonus. Your broths and smoothies are also good. Taste good. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you liked it. Butter Fruit Bakery. Sarap naman ang name mo. Butter, <laughs> butter na fruit pa bake the best. <laughs> Been meaning to try your fast mimicking program. It's just have loads of food, food intolerances, intolerances based on my FITS. Fits, um, into food intolerance test. Are the smoothies exclude, ex- included fix or you can be chosen from the menu? Um, If you want to choose which broth, oh, sorry, which smo- flavor of smoothie you can uh, take, uh, you send it to me so I can help you arrange it because usually it's fixed. So, uh, and it's really made to mimic the body Now it's fasting while you're on it. So, yeah. Do you do so wonder 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 girl do you do a autoimmune protocol diet miss kim Yeah we do we do we do bespoke meal plan that's a best part of the bespoke yeah. meal plan that we offer So if you have any underlying health condition we customize meals we customize meals for even for cancer patients or people with um people recovering post recovery meals um pre surgery meal so we all do that from facebook and twix is it possible to put a little cabbage or spinach on your broth just to have that chewing feeling <laughs> hi and you can start with that that's totally fine but if you really want so the purpose of the liquid fast broth fast fasting mimicking is to really let the gut rest meaning there's no any solid food na parang bibigyan mo siya na extra work that's when the system resets kasi. But if you're new to this, of course, by all means, again, there's no one size fits all when it comes to fasting. You plan it and then you progress later on. As it gets easier, you'll notice you don't even need to add anything anymore. Baka umabot ka pa sa point na nag-dry fast ka, wala ng water, kaya-kaya mo na. So that's the goal. I used to to like have the little bits, beef, 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 yeah. beef uh, strips Mm-mm. from... Glenn Atienza said Cedro adds how to lost body fat, especially belly, the fastest way. Explain mo muna. The belly fat is your visceral fat. That's your fat around your arm. Oh, sorry, organs, hormones today. Organs. So <laughs> Hi Glenn. Uh for me the fastest way is a water fast. Dry fast? <laughs> well, no, dry fast is dangerous. I, I wouldn't mm-hmm. recommend that. Water fasting only, but the trick that I've learned through my years of water fasting is to incorporate uh, natural salt, so Himalayan salt, not iodized salt. It helps so much with uh, managing electrolytes. Sorry, I can't see. Sorry there. So yeah, that's the fastest way to lose a, a belly fat. Um, the difficulty though is rebounding. So when you fast, 
when you do a water fast, the trick, the hardest part is actually exiting the fast and making sure you don't indulge after, which is normal. Your, 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 I mean, sorry, your, your weight will really increase again after your water fast, but you want to keep it below the starting weight. And then you chain it, you do another water fast, and then you break it. So I like to do shorter water fasts, like three days if I'm really trying to lose weight. I'm actually on day one now. Of, of water uh, fast. Yeah, of maybe a two or three days. So I'm going to go with my with the, with the how I feel. Ako, I'm about to get my period, so I am not doing a long fast. So I'll do that after a week or one to two weeks after. I can do make, I can make hatao. Even the workouts, ladies. So you plan your workout differently. So first to two weeks, mas malakas tayo. So dun kayo tumodo kung gusto niyo mag-hit twice a week. That's fine. Once a week. Um, and then, third to fourth week, ibahin niyo yung routine ng workout niyo. That will really help you also lose weight if you really want to lose weight. So, I am lay, lay a lay. If I start the bone broth, do I, do, do I have to do one cup in the morning and one cup in the evening? Or it doesn't matter how many cups in a day. By the way, your jello broth is so good. For, so, it's, so, it's, good it's good for, for how many days? days? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, the jello broth is good for 10 servings. So, that's a two-day full uh broth fast um for for the so you can take yeah you can take one to two cups for meals um you you know you'll notice the man as it gets easier parang kahit one cup kaya mo na but yun nga if it's new new sa yung system na to or this kind of lifestyle i would recommend not to limit your broth consumption because um importante na mapush mo. Ang goal is mapush mo yung fast. So, kung kailangan ng 3 cups, go ahead. Drink 3 cups. Start from there. Okay. How can you go back to your pre-preg... Oh, Om Jane, Mary Jane to. How can you go back to your pre-pregnancy weight if you're breastfeeding? breastfeeding? I didn't really gain a lot of weight. I just want to lose my be jelly, jelly belly. belly. Um... Basically, you really so. Um, Hi, Amor. Hello, Amor. So basically, you would want to limit carbohydrates. So it's not true that you have to eat a lot when you're breastfeeding. What's true is you have to eat nutrient dense food to make sure that you produce quality food for your child or quality milk for your child. Sorry. So it's not just about you know eating several times to produce more milk. You want to produce milk that is, you know, potent, high in fat. Because milk is fat. So incorporate good fat. Incorporate protein. That will really help you boost your visceral fat or your belly fat. Yeah. Oh, this question. Cyanil Mir. Hi, Kim and Atticus. Thank you. For, thanks for doing this. I tried your three-day broth fast. It was good. I found it hard to eat three meals after, though. Got the meal plan as well. Should I do OMAD instead after the fast? Cool. Happy to hear you enjoyed it. Yes, you can do OMAD. And then I need to know, like, are you doing this to lose weight? So I can recommend something better. And then do you have, like, um, how, what's the duration? What's your, how long are you planning to do it? Uh, do you have a deadline to reach that goal or health, health goal or your weight goal? So I can assist you better. Okay, wait. Mm, my question adds how okay wait lang thank you and twix. and twix thank you all also i read on your FAQs that cold brew coffee is only allowed um yeah um it will be up to you you can take hot coffee but the th thing is the only well the main reason why i recommend cold brew is because it's less acidic so especially if you're taking it and you're not going to eat and you know you're doing a liquid fast. The best would be cold brew, talaga. But it's less acidic sa so stomach. Okay. From Krish to K, is it okay for transplantees? Broth fasting. I'm not a doctor. We're not doctors, but I would guess that anything that will make you will lessen the stress on your immune system would be good for you. So. Anything that will not cause inflammation. Yeah, because your immune system will have to will have less to contend with. So that that's my guess, but I would say ask your doctor, please. If, so I am lately. Okay. Sorry. 
what to do when you get headaches while you fast. Add more Himalayan salt. That's normal. Yep, that's normal. Especially if Nap. you're if you're coming from a like really unhealthy diet, talagang yeah. you'll feel that the parang sakit ng ulo mo. So that's why preparation is a must. I'll take a twenty minute nap. Yeah. S- Celeste Alonso, does fruits both spike your insulin since? Yes, it will. Yes. So if you're planning to eat fruit after your fast, I would not recommend it. I would recommend macadamia nuts, um, kefir, unsweetened, or yeah, avocado, good fat and protein. Okay, chick. What if payat na but still want to fast? Don't want to be too payat. Okay, chick. It's totally okay. I'm not also fasting to lose weight because I don't think I have to. I think I'm my belt is pretty talagang um. What's that? She's the sexiest woman in the world. She doesn't have to fast. Grabe. No, but I want. I do it because I feel great every time I fast. I feel my skin is better. My my there's more mental clarity. Um. Yeah, I just like the feeling. It's addictive, actually. And it's. I think it's one of the natural... It's very normal for people to fast. When we sleep, we fast. So I don't understand why some people don't understand na parang it's normal not to <laughs> eat. No, really. Diba? When we sleep, we fast. But because the, it's... it's, the, it's as Filipinos, diba, it's a Pinoy culture to always, ay, kumain ka na ba? Yeah, kumain ka na ba? Oh, parang, oh, oh ka. makamalipasan so, ka ng gutom. Yeah, it's... Yeah. That's programming we have to fix, guys. It, it's, it's, we have to unlearn. We have to unlearn that behavior. Yeah. You know, we can express our love through other ways. It doesn't have to be always through food. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So, kung payat ka, like me, um, you can do it for longevity, for skin, for beauty, and all of that. For overall well-being. And then, when you break the fast, you just have to make sure na hindi ka caloric deficit. Meaning, you eat sakto or more than you know the usual it's totally fine so meaning kasi yung iba ang ginagawa when they fast after if you break nila tapos 200 calories lang yung kakainin you have to also you know uh, give your system uh, an adequate amount of nutrients diba it's not hindi pwedeng wala kang may nutrient deficiency ka hindi yeah hindi, you will not feel good if you have some nutrient deficiencies yes preparation is the key Okay, chick, can we do one-on-one consultation? Yes, you can just check the website, but currently my schedule is very full. Ang next availability ko po will be June 22nd pa. So, fully booked na po ako until next week. But yeah, I would want to talk to you uh, and do a one-on-one consultation. Martin De Luna, I'm OC also about making food from scratch. Worth it. Yes, yep. definitely worth yeah, it. Yeah, it's worth it. Yep. That's why we give away our recipes yep. too. How is it normal to be constipated during broth diet? Well, the question is, what was your last meal before doing the broth fast? That's from Seacow. So, normally, you don't really get to poop. I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> sorry, guys. Until the third day. Um, so, the so third day, that's when you incorporate the food grade Epsom salt to flush out all the toxins, you know, sa gut mo. So that will help you go. But yeah, you're not constipated. Basically, empty yung stomach mo. And usually, because it's liquid, so don't really expect to go. That's why, do natin i-inject or insert yung pag-flush ng toxin through drinking the Epsom salt food grade. Yan. And, and Katrina, thank you so much. Si Karen, you both look so good. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Oh, Zane, Miss Kim, are you still breastfeeding? How old am I? No, I'm no longer breastfeeding. My twins are turning two already. Even my eldest, Storm, she stopped drinking. We stopped breastfeeding and drinking milk before she turned one year and four months. The moment that she can eat solid food. So one of the signs na pwede nang kumain ng solid food yung bata is pag meron ng teeth, di ba? And you notice, if you'll notice also, sa mga, um, what do you call that? Processed milk, naka, nakalagay, di ba? Breastfeeding is best up to two years of age. The reason behind that is because by the time na two years old sila, may nipin na sila, it means they can already chew food, they can already eat. So my kids kasi, they usually start eating early. Um, like si Storm, six months, kumakain na siya. So, mas less na yung milk. And then, Nag, na, off, na after like a year and 
No, not even a year and a half. One year and two to three months lang. Yeah. One trick we did was use coconut juice. Yeah, buko. Yeah, so it's sweet. So mm -hmm. she liked that. For the rest of the night. Kim, what did you mention earlier? Like how how do you make sure you get the pesticides oh, out of the produce? Okay. You have to wash your produce with a tablespoon, one to two tablespoons of apple cider with a teaspoon of baking soda. So that will clean the produce and remove the excess or residue of the pesticides. Yeah. Thea Morrison. Thank you so much, Thea. We should make a video how to we yeah, have, right? yeah. We have a post. yeah, maybe I should post so we'll that video. Note. Yeah, we'll make a video. Chafe Perez. Hi, Miss Kim. My mom has problem on her knee and her doctor advised her to trim down her weight. Is brought is brought is the best for diet for her. Um, I would recommend that we do a one on one consultation so you can walk me through her condition because um this is this will require a planning, like meal plan, not just broth, because even if you incorporate broth in your diet, well, it's beneficial alone. But if you incorporate it with the right food, you can really maximize the benefit. So that's what you want to do. Because for me, if it's just broth, parang, and then you'll eat junk food after. Sayang. Sayang, diba? And you're going to prepare the broth. If you're going to do it on your own or if you're going to buy it, might as well, buong diet mo, ayusin mo na. That would be the best. Well said. Hello, Princess po. Lady. Hello, Po. Taya Morrison. Question about the different broths, though. I usually only get amino, but do you... But do, do the other broths have different benefits, like the beef or beef? Plus yeah, chicken? so the beef is... My organic beef is high. So it's high in type 1 and type 3. For the skin, it's good. Um, For the gut health joint. And then the chicken is high in type 2. So that's for ligaments, tendons, uh, fascia. Mm -hmm. Tendons, sorry, tendons. Yeah, but both are beneficial, all of them. What I would recommend is you try the mixed broth because we also have a mixed broth, mixed collagen and mi with organic beef. Krish, I am a transplant and I am on steroids now and I am 5 kg, 5 kilograms overweight. Can I do broth? Yes. Yes, you can do that. Yeah, yeah we can guide you. You can do a broth fast. Is a peep up question po okay lang mag take ng coffee with creamer no so guys one of the most unhealthiest invention in this universe other than sugar <laughs> would be the creamers <gasps> if you want a creamer you're better off taking full fat cream uh president brand so that's organic but usually tayong mga adults may mga food intolerances tayo so you really have to be careful kasi minsan Parang you're doing everything na, but parang hindi ka pa rin pumapayat. So, pag ganun yung situation, you have to reassess your meals. I would recommend that you do a mono diet and check saan ka nagre-react, saan nagpa-plateau yung weight mo. And then slowly you incorporate food that you like and then just be observant on how you feel during you know, the transition. But no, definitely no creamer. No, no po yan. And Twix, I'm a little bit confused with the Epsom salt and Himalayan. So you can add Himalayan with your broth if you're having headache and Epsom salt with water after your three-day broth fast. Hi, Anne. So the concept for the Epsom salt, usually, no, um, like when we were in Phuket, when you do a long fast, you would want to do colonics to remove the toxins. Because feeling feeling natin, di ba, when, when we poop, na ilalabas na natin lahat. Actually, no, that's not true. Meron pang mga residue ng mga, kumbaga, meron pang, anong tawag dito, lag. <laughs> yung mga old, old junk, nasa sikmura pa rin natin, or nasa gut pa rin natin. So, usually, ang ginagawa natin is colonics. However, since wala tayong way to do the colonics because of the pandemic, yan ang second best way to flush the toxins. So, Epsom salt, and it has to be food grade. May dalawang klase yan, no? Don't be confused. Meron yung pang soaking lang na may parang lavender and all of that, chamomile. And meron yung iniinom, the food grade one. And then, and then the Himalayan salt, you can add it when you do a water fast. Yan. Watching with my sister. Hi. 
shall shall you build miss kim please help me to start one of how many days start from start doing a 24 hours that's the ecs so last meal at 4 p.m then you break the following the break the fast the following day at 4 4 p.m hi xx teen marie px hi why it's just hard to read yeah Christine so, Marie. so from summer i'm actually from late so yeah i'm also Bisayaba or what I we will ship eventually. Yeah, we will, we will, we will keep you posted. To those of you who are asking if kung kung makakapag ship kami sa inyong location, please send us a DM. Send me your details, your complete address, location, complete name, real name, not Instagram name, and mobile number so we can reach out to you once we can ship to your area already. Para uno namin kayong sa sabihan. He's a Hisara Garcia. Hoo -hoo, I want to try your bo bone broth, but I'm ba based abroad. Hi, Hisara Garcia. Please send me a message. I'll send you the recipe so you can try and make your own bone broth. I'll be looking forward. I'm excited for that to Hip Yogi. Skippy Cabana. Cabano. Cabano. Been ordering my meals from you for a month. Super love it and I feel so he I feel healthy. Awesome to hear. Wonderful. I'm happy to hear. Hi, Demrak03. Soon we will. Demrak, please send me your your message. Your your details. Sorry. Send me your details, contact number, complete name, and we will reach out to you once we can ship abroad. And Lynn, thank you for your help, Miss Kim. My daughter is starting to lose weight. It's thank you for hear. introducing us to Healthy Keto. Yay! I'm so happy. happy next day. Yeah. Kino Yaxi, is it okay to do extreme activity after doing broth fast? No. When after you eat, kapag na break mo na and you eat yes. like protein and yeah. good fat, then you can work out. But not yeah. on your last day. Dapat break mo muna siya properly, get the nutrients that you need, and then you do your workout. Hip Yogi, do you have a simple recipe so you can share that use avocado? Well, you know, I avo you mean avocado? I just eat it as simple as it. Add salt, Himalayan salt. Sometimes I add um, sardines. I get my sardines from healthy options. Medyo mahal, pero masarap. So, sabi niya, bland daw, walang lasa. Yeah. Pero ako, enjoy na enjoy ko. Nalagyan ko lang ng salt, olive oil, drizzled of olive oil, um, organic eggs, mga apat na organic eggs, um, ganito kalaking avocado. Yan, sarap nun. The rest of the night, what do you guys eat as a rice alternative? I'm finding it so hard to give up rice. I love rice too. That's my cheat. Ayan siya. Ako never ako nah nahilig sa rice eh. Buti na lang. Ang hilig ko is sweet potato. But because I have, like, meron akong history ng picos, I'm trying to avoid as well. So basically, my diet is really heavier on good fat, avocado, macadamia, coconut oil, MCT, um, grass-fed butter, um, organic beef, steak, mga ganon, um, fish, wild-caught fish. Uh, I'll tell you my, my least favorite alternative is cauliflower rice. <laughs> I hate cauliflower rice. No, dati favorite niya yon. Yeah. Favorite niya dati. Tapos siguro dahil one year niyang kinakain, biglang yeah. nagsawa, biglang sabi ayaw niya na daw. So, <laughs> but, but that's because I used to make it with my manang before. But now that Kim makes it, she has a different way of making it where she puts extra, yeah, extra spice or something. that I like it's it more. It's made of love. Yeah. I make everything with love. So it's extra. I you know, like, you put the energy because it's a food. You know, everything. We are all made of energy. You know, so you, that's if you true. give that's true. love, your intention, your intention, then everything will, you know, it's work. Based on quantum physics. Yep. What's your wait? What's what's the what's the alternative rice? I want to answer that question. You can. I know. Add lye. Add lye would be the best, especially if you have diabetes mm. because it's low glycemic or double cook rice. But so that's what we do actually in KKK. Actually, we do. yes, that's what we do. So if you want to half the calories of the it's rice a it's awesome. a hack and i also don't know why people don't do this it's so easy so basically you make sa in your rice cool it down add one teaspoon to two teas a uh, tablespoon sorry tablespoon of coconut oil you mix it and then you store it inside your chiller after 12 hours you reheat it in a pan or in a pan then it's half the calories already, like 60% less. So it's less starchy. The cooling alone, the sitting of the the, the car of the carbs or the rice will lessen the starchiness and it makes it less 
the calorie it becomes lesser or yeah less 60 percent less so that's a hack so if you really want to cu uh, cut your calories i'll warn you though it doesn't taste as good as yeah it, but but you sticky rice. rice yeah, yeah. but, but pwede na. at least you get to enjoy your rice sayang 60 percent so for example kung ang calorie niya is 200 okay hindi ako magaling sa math guys so kung 200 calories in one cup ano ang 60 percent nun 120 120 oh less 120 imagine Oh, reduce by 60%? Is that what you said? Yeah, okay. reduce 60%. Okay. Where can I buy food grade Epsom salt? Hip yoga. We do have on our website. Please check. It's cheap. Parang 120 pesos ata. Parang ganun. Miss Kim, can I use honey as my sweetener? Um, If your diet is really heavy on sugar, then this is the first start. You switch into honey. And then pag kaya mo nang ilasin yung honey, then you go another step up. Use monk fruit and then later remove it eventually. Hi, fruits are not allowed after the water fast. Yes, no. Hi, Debbie Drake. Yes, I would not recommend fruits after a water fast because that will spike your insulin level. Debbie, I used to do that. I used to break my water fast uh, on buko juice, watermelon, mm -hmm. uh, and it felt good, fresh, but I'd be so hungry after. So I found that you want to avoid anything sugary so you don't have this. Insulin Hunger spike. Hunger comes back with a vengeance. Yep. yep. And I think and I have to go na and the discussion is sobrang ganda. I hope I can watch this on your IGTV. Marasa. Bye! Oh, Actually, you. overtime na nga yeah. kami. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to check my kids na. First is not allowed. Just finish my day. Adlin, best would be protein and fat. Yeah. Eh, sa, kahit anong fasting pa yan, you break it with fruit, pro protein. Protein and fat. Sorry, guys. Uh, if you guys really want to have fruits, don't juice it and just keep the juice. Better to eat Keep it. the fiber. Yeah. Better, better to keep juice it with the fiber. Keep the fiber. So, make, basically, ang sinasabi niya, smoothie. Hindi po kasi siya nagluluto. Kaya, yeah. hindi niya... That's, that's... <laughs> Pero, ang ibig niya sabihin, you keep the fiber. Meaning, huwag mo siyang i-juice. Why? Why? Because... Fiber is the vital. It's, it's a vital nutrient. No, na nakukuha natin sa fruits. So if you juice it and it's just juice alone, it will spike your insulin and you will not enter the ketosis or the autophagy, phagy stage, where you get to regenerate your cell. If it's if your insulin is always up, right? You cannot tap your stored fat. You can only lose water weight in juice fast. I know. I know of this because I I did this. I've tried all sorts of diet. So yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. Sorry, guys. We gotta wrap yeah, up. Yeah, sorry. And then we're gonna quinoa. Just, yeah. Wait, wait. Last pie. Quinoa, yes or no? Yes, better than better than non double cook rice if you have underlying health condition. What is a good butter? President butter, Kerry Gold. These are grass fed butter or Pinky's Farm. Yeah. Are other nuts like almonds, cashew, and walnuts? Um. Fat-wise, hip yogi, macadamia is more potent. So if you want to lose weight, um, I'd go for macadamia. It's high in calories, mm. yeah, higher than the rest, but it's the ratio is it's full of fat, so parang it's more satiating. Thank you so much, guys. I lost 10 pounds first time on your broth diet. Wow. I'm so happy for you, Pai. Hi, Glenn. Thank you so much. Nice. And Twix, you're the best. We'll be ready to jump start with the broad fasting soon. I'm excited for you guys. Do you guys have a YouTube channel? I actually do have a YouTube channel, but I'm not active. But anyway, I am so happy. We're so happy to be here. I am so sorry. We need to wrap up already because our kids are waiting. And we Thank don't... you, guys. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> attending and we're happy to share. Uh, we Didn't... Did you say you had a promo? Oh, we had, yeah. We had a gift for you guys, actually. Yeah, so... Let's check now if I have sorry, the number. We have to check if we were able to activate it. or So to those who attended, please hold on. We have to check the attendees. I need to check. I need to... Darling, can you take a screenshot? Sorry, guys. Huh? Let me do this. Because <laughs> we want to give a 20% discount to all the attendees. So hold on. Please don't cut it first we really wanna <laughs> to check yeah, the i'm trying to get it now so we're trying to maybe i'll just do a screenshot sorry guys very amateur baby can you remove it okay yeah I will remove it. yeah sorry 
Oh, and my phone's stuck. Oh, there. no. Okay. There oh, go. God. Okay. Okay. Wait, I just need to screenshot kung sino yung mga nag-attend. Ayan, wait lang. Give. You guys are very active at, ano, asking questions. The code is Thursday Live. So before you check out, you just you just add, uh, you just put the ter Thursday Live. Doesn't have to be capital letter or small letter, but yeah. And then you'll automatically get 20% off. Yes, sorry there. Sorry it was muted. Yes, you can uh, take bone broth even if you have high cholesterol. Don't be afraid of the cholesterol. It's There's a cholesterol myth. Please send me a message. I'll send you all the links that you can watch so you can understand what cholesterol is. And it's not something that you have to be afraid of. It's really the sugar when combined with good with bad fat that can take toll to your health. So guys, we love you. We care for you. We have to go. <laughs> okay, one last thing. Sorry, okay. I was muted. So the, I, I posted the promo code. Oh, it's there's the Thursday promo code. Live. It's good till midnight tonight, guys. So just in case you want to use it. Yeah. Thanks again. Stay safe. Please, again, use the promo code Thursday Live to get 20% off to those who are present in this um, IG Live. And we are so grateful for you and happy to see you all. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. How do I end this? Um, X. X. There, there you go. go. And then end.